Hello everyone, you're watching LGBTV and this is Ryan and this week's topic is dating and I wanted to talk about some specific problem to being trans and dating. That is passing as a queer couple and not as a straight couple. Now I know a lot of trans guys or trans people in general just want to blend in with society and pass as straight or pass as whatever um, sexuality they are and whatever gender they identify as. For me, I like to be in the movement. I like to be in the gay movement as well as the trans movement. I think it's a really important thing and we are in the movement right now. So it's great to be a part of it and help out in any way that we can. And I like to identify in that movement. For mine and Alexis's relationship, I like to identify as being in a queer relationship and so does Alexis. We don't really like to be seen as a straight couple, although we do want to be seen as a woman and a man. A lot of times we are seen as straight and it's it's interesting because we kind of like feel out of place in some situations like in the Castro, the gay neighborhood in San Francisco if we're being seen as a straight couple and being called miss and sir then it it feels kind of weird because we're like in a place that is predominantly a gay community and we're like the only straight people there but we're not straight we're queer and we want to be seen as queer something happens a lot which is we get called ladies so then obviously if they see us holding hands and kissing and stuff the Wait, waiter or waitress thinks that we are a lesbian couple, which is also very interesting and that happens because I don't always pass as male, which is not that big of a deal. Sometimes we are seen as a lesbian couple, which we don't want to be seen as at all. It's a very interesting dilemma and there's not really much to do about it except being visible. Alright, now here I am with Alexis. <laughs> and we're going to just talk about what it feels like to be seen as the different types of couples that we've been seen as. So we've been seen as a straight couple and how does that make you feel? No, you don't no, care? No. Okay, so Alexis doesn't care if we're seen as a straight couple. How does it feel when we're being seen as a lesbian couple? I guess it makes me feel awkward because when Ryan is seen as female, he gets uncomfortable and that's not how he wants to be seen. A lot of times if we get addressed as female or addressed as ladies, girls, whatever, it kind of falls on me, not necessarily to be my responsibility, but it feels that way. It feels like it is, it falls on me to correct whoever is calling us that, and it sometimes gets really awkward. It's just a really awkward situation because Ryan's uncomfortable, which makes me uncomfortable, and then I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> How do I fix this? Do I just, like, let it be, or do I, like, yell at the person, or do I just, like, slip it in? It, that it's he. When someone calls us ladies, what do you usually do? Usually I try and find an opportunity to correct them without being too blunt. So in a polite way. Yeah, and I don't think I've ever said no, it's he, or something like that. What I'll do is usually if I order my food first or whatever, I'll say what I want and then say whatever he wants and then they should get the idea and if they don't then screw them anyway <laughs> would you rather be seen as a straight couple a queer couple or a lesbian couple queer couple and why because we are not a cis male and female we both identify as queer with our sexuality and have for a while and that's how we are and we are heavily involved within the gay community and we aren't really straight allies we're actually queer and belong in the community next week is question week so if you'd like to ask us some questions about our relationship or anything you could ask alexis questions you could ask me questions and we will answer them in the video next week everyone have a great week and we will see you all later bye